Hello everyone and welcome to your natural sciences lesson. So today we're going to be dealing with practice questions and application questions that are based on an electric circuit and specifically parallel circuit. So let's start. So now, we are given the first question that says, what happens to current as the number of resistors increase in a parallel circuit? So we need to think back now and think of our parallel circuit. Remember, we have a battery, we can have a battery, and we can have resistors connected. Let's have three resistors connected in parallel. And then let's have another one, whereby now we have one resistor. And also have another one, whereby we have two resistors. Now, question is, what happens to the current as the number of resistors increase in a parallel circuit? So starting from one, two and then three what happens to current as we keep on adding another resistor in a in a in a in a parallel circuit what we need to know is this in a parallel circuit with the more we add a resistor so if we keep on adding a resistor in parallel so let's write adding um adding a resistor in parallel that decreases the total resistance of the circuit. So this then, then means that circuit number one will have a much higher resistance as compared to circuit number two. Why? Because now I've added another resistor. Once we add a resistor in parallel, the total resistance decreases. So now that also means circuit number two will have a much higher resistance as compared to circuit number three because I've also added another resistor in circuit number three. I have three resistors. So if you go on to four and five, so the, the previous resistor, I mean the previous circuit will always have a much higher resistance as compared to the, the, to, to the, to the second or to the subsequent uh, circuit because as you keep on adding more resistors in parallel, the total resistance of the circuit is going to decrease. So now, what does this mean with the current? Because the question, it is not based on the resistance, but the question, it is on the current. So this then means, if now the resistance decreases, remember the relationship between resistance and current. If the resistance is going to be decreasing as we adding, uh, as we adding or increasing the number of resistors, if the resistance is going to decrease, it then means that the current will increase. Remember, as the resistance decreases, the current increases. As the resistance increases, the current decreases. So if we are increasing the number of resistors in parallel, we are decreasing the current and therefore the, are we decreasing the resistance and therefore the current is going to increase. The current strength is going to increase. However, when we are removing resistors in parallel, we are increasing the resistance of the circuit and therefore decreasing the current strength of that particular circuit. So they have that relationship. So therefore, the answer is going to be the same. The current is going to increase because, because of that. Now question two, what happens to the brightness on the light bulbs as the number of resistors or basically the light bulbs increases in a parallel circuit? So in other words, as we are adding more resistors, being the light bulbs, as we're adding more resistors in parallel, what is going to happen to the brightness of those light bulbs? Now, remember that if we are adding identical resistors or identical light bulbs, they will each receive the same amount of current when the current splits. We can go back now to draw a simple electrical circuit with two resistors or with two light bulbs. And then we are saying this. As the current is moving through the wires, 
let's say now the total current of the circuit is 2 amperes and the, these two resistors are all identical. Once the current gets to this point, it is going to split into two equal parts, one amperes there and another one ampere there. So which then means both of these resistors, because they are identical, they will each receive the same amount of current strength, which therefore that which therefore means that even the brightness of those of those light bulbs is going to remain the same. So the brightness of bulb number one is going to be the same as the brightness of bulb number two. If I add another resistor again and make them to be three, they will still be in parallel and each of them will have the same resistance. So if they each have the same resistance, it then means that the current will have to, to split into three equal parts. So the current will have to split into three equal parts. Now, because each of those three resistors are identical, each of those three resistors will receive the same current strength, and therefore that would mean that the brightness of each of those resistors is still going to be the same. So what happens with the brightness on the light bulbs as the number of resistors or the light bulbs increases in parallel circuit? So if the resistors are identical, it then means that the brightness... will remain the same. So the brightness will remain the same throughout this, this, this light bulbs thing. So now, because now the question is in terms of the light bulbs, we need to draw an electric circuit that has the light bulbs and not the symbol for a resistor. So let's just draw it here because the space, we're going to draw the very same electric circuit, but then with the light bulbs, we include it. So we have our uh, let's draw it nicely. We have our cell. And remember, we're saying that you're going to have three light bulbs or three resistors that are connected there in parallel. This is the symbol for a light bulb, symbol for light bulb, and symbol for light bulb. So this is exactly the same circuit diagram. However, the difference is that on this one, I've used the symbol of a resistor. However, because the question is in terms of the light bulb, you need to draw one with the symbol for a light bulb to show the difference that you know the difference between the, the resistor and the light bulbs in terms of their symbol. Remember, they both are resistors. It's just that they are drawn differently. Now, question three. We now need to draw an electric circuit with three light bulbs that are connected in parallel. And we need to also have a closed switch. And then lastly, a battery that consists of three cells. Remember, if it's one, that's a cell. This is two, that's now a battery. And also still a battery. So we have drawn three cells that, that are constituted in this battery. There must also be a switch. Remember, we are not told where the switch is supposed to be. So the switch can be anywhere on the wires. So I would like to draw my one here. And the switch is supposed to be closed. Yes. So I'll draw my one there. Closed switch. And then now closed switch that is taken care of. I need to have three light bulbs now. So I will have light bulb number one. Remember, they must be connected in parallel. If they are connected in parallel, that means there's going to be three pathways for the current to pass through or the, for, the parent, for, for the current to go. So there needs to be, the, when it gets to this branch, there needs to be this first path, second path, and the third path because we have three light bulbs that are connected in parallel. Now the symbol for light bulb is that connected in parallel. And then the current will continue going all the way into the other terminal. So now, as your current is moving, remember that the switch can be anywhere on the circuit. We can, however, the switch should be, we can also find our switch there if you want. The switch should be closed. If you don't want your switch to be there, you can have your switch on the other side. Your switch should be closed because if your switch is, is opened, it then means that you are disconnecting the circuit and that would then mean there won't be any current flow. And if there's no current flow, you can't measure the current and also the light, bar, the light bulbs are going to be off. In this case, the light bulbs are on because there's a current flowing through the circuit, passing through the resistor from one terminal to the other terminal. So this is what we have. We have 
drawn the three light bulbs. We, they are in parallel, one, two, three, one after, or not one after the other, but there is three different pathways for the current to pass. And then we have a closed switch and also have a battery that has three cells. So now that takes care of our electric circuit. So before going to the next set of questions, let's quickly go for an ad break and I will see you just after this.